Hello friends, this is a presentation video of our new series, the SSL client server connection. In this series, which consists 10 active videos, starting with this video presentation video. The video number two is an important one, big, uh, which will be configured the OpenSSL.cnf file. Most of the configuration configurations that we will use later on in creating this SSL client server connection. Video number three, in this video we will create the root certificate and I'll, you will learn how to create the root key, how you create the root certificate, what are the conditions that you need to meet when you create the root certificate and then we will move to the video number four where we will create our intermediate certificate this intermediate certificate that we will create from the root certificate this is the one that we will use later on to create all the remaining certificates now once we create the intermediate certificate we need to how we can check it and authenticate it that it was created from the root certificate once we have do that then we need to create the chain of trust which is the root certificate concatenated to the intermediate certificate then we will move to the server certificate that we will create from the intermediate certificate and again we will have to authenticate it with the chain of trust then the client certificate which we will create from the intermediate certificate as well and we will authenticate it with the chain of trust uh, we will verify this and then we will move to the client machine the, your user machine in this machine we will move the client certificate along with the intermediate certificate how we can move them to the client machine and how we can install them there to create our connection with the server and which type of which type of server certificate that we need in this case because in the server certificate we will have we can make either a self-signed certificate or global certificate authority certificate which one we need in reality in the practice world in the over the internet we will discuss this as well now here we will discuss a very important issue now there are two types of people people who configure the server certificate configure the server security side and they don't configure the client side does postgres consider this way a secure is this secure if we just configure the server side we will see this in this video and then we will see how can we make a truly fully secure connection SSL connection between the client and the server in this video based on the PostgreSQL recommendation in here we will see how can we make a fully secure SSL client server connection based on the PostgreSQL recommendations and here we will apply this fully secure SSL in our application or in your application this is the entire series that we will talk about the SSL client server configuration I appreciate your registration with this series and I thank you so much in advance and hope you have useful times in your career using this series thank you very much